Today we're going to be talking about how to work with Nikon D850 NEF files in Lightroom and Photoshop. Remember when there was all that excitement about the Nikon D850 being released? Me too, it was pretty hard to miss. Well, anyway, somehow Adobe missed the memo. I got back from my first field trip where Nikon kindly gave me a D850 for testing and I was all excited about getting going with the photos only to realise that I couldn't open the files. I should have remembered though, because it happens every time there's a new body released, there's always a bit of a lag between the camera manufacturer releasing the body and Adobe catching up with support for it. But anyway, so Lightroom won't recognise your files and Photoshop won't either. What do you do? Well, don't worry, there is a fix, there's a couple of solutions and I'm going to talk you through them now. My recommendation for starting off working with the files is to use Photo Mechanic. Camera Bits create this software to be a really simple, lightweight, user-friendly culling software. So you can go through your photos really quickly. It draws directly from the JPEG rather than the RAW. So although you can't process the file, you can quickly go through and choose which images you actually want to work with. The next option is to work with Adobe Camera Raw. Camera Raw 9.12.1 will actually let you open your Nikon D850 files. So if you Google Adobe Camera Raw and follow the links to Camera Raw plugin installer, within here you'll find both the Windows and Macintosh version uh, to download and install. Once it's installed, you can use Photoshop to actually open the file via Adobe Camera Raw and you have all your raw control that you normally have. So if you come down to open in Photoshop, come to a file that you want to work with and once you've selected your file, just double click it like you normally would. Photoshop will then open the file and you've got all the control over that raw file, such as exposure, contrast, whatever you want to do with it, just like normal, you are good to go. And then you can open the object and work with it directly in Photoshop. Now for my preferred method, which is actually to use Adobe DNG Converter to convert the photos into a DNG format, which is Adobe's digital negative file. And that can then be read by Lightroom. So you can actually work with your files as per normal workflow, where you can categorize, rate, star, do all the stuff and process within Lightroom. So just Google Adobe DNG converter and follow the links. This will take you to a web page telling you all about the digital negative files. You can then come down to the download section and select your version, either Windows or Mac. Then you can proceed to the download section. Just click that and that is going to download to your downloads folder, the Adobe Camera Raw plugin. Once it's downloaded, navigate to your downloads folder and simply double click and run the exe file. This will install Adobe DNG Converter. Open up the DNG converter, and once you've got that, it's a really simple process. One, two, three, four, just follow the steps. So select the folder where your photos for the D850 reside. Once you've done that, select the location where you want the converted files to be saved to. I'm gonna go for DNG converted files. Once you've done that, you can name the, the photos, something appropriate, and you simply hit convert. DNG converter then goes to work processing and converting all of your files from Nikon's native NEF format into something which the Adobe software will read, a DNG file. Good to go. The conversion process is pretty quick. As you can see, this is just going through these fairly quickly. So before you know it, you're ready to import into Lightroom as you would normally. Now from within Lightroom, you simply need to follow your normal import procedure. Click import, navigate to the folder that contains the photos you want to import, which are your converted DNGs. Select the folder, <laughs> choose which ones you want to actually import. In my case, I'm just gonna select all of them. Hit import, 
Now simply wait while Lightroom imports your photos and prepares your previews. From here you can come to the develop module and you have full access to all the usual raw controls. Now it's time just to have fun and enjoy playing with your D850 files. So I've had an opportunity to actually play with a couple of files now and what you see on the screen at the moment are some of my first ever frames from the D850. It's a beautiful camera, it's fantastic to use and I am so delighted. I hope for now you find this solution helpful. Thumbs up and subscribe for more photography, Photoshop and Lightroom tutorials where I'm going to be sharing my secrets on how I achieve my photographic look. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in another video. Cheers guys.